Hi, Leo. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. I'm Renee Michelle, and this is your weekly reading for February the 28th through March 5th of 2016. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And also, I want to say I missed you. I hope you miss me too. Yay. We're back. Um, Spiritual awareness. Gonna tape it maybe tomorrow. Letting go. What's the big deal? Self abuse and the fear of happiness. I wanna I wanna knock them all out. I wanna knock them all out. Right? Because you the chase and letting go for real was like the highest watch spiritual awareness since it all began. But see, the thing is, is that, you know, you can't just fix today. You got to fix yesteryear, right? You got to scrape all those those old wounds out, clear them out, and let them heal properly. And if you don't know how to watch spiritual awareness and you like, I'm afraid to go back there, Renee. I really don't feel like doing that. I'm going to tell you, you need to contact me before this $20 sale run out, which is going to be tomorrow. So it's going to be tomorrow, um, February 28, 2016 at midnight. The twenty dollars special will be over, and I mean, you, you guys got a book, book. I'm not doing this whole. I emailed you two months ago, and we 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 agreed on twenty dollars. I just didn't have it at the time, or I forgot, and now I want to use that twenty dollars. It's not a coupon. Twenty dollars booked by tomorrow, February twenty eighth, two thousand sixteen, at midnight. That's it. Um. What else? Also, the spiritual bath. I've already started giving you guys the ingredients that you should have been picking up at the Botanica or you should have ordered if the Botanica is not near you. If so, you need to get it in in this next couple of days because next week in this time, we should be getting in the tub, in the tub, in the tub. Right? Okay, Leo. Your weekly reading for February 28th to March 5th, 2016. That will be on my blog, by the way. And if you want that private reading with me, that's Renee Michelle at nineteen seventy Renee Michelle nineteen seventy five at gmail dot com. All the information is at the bottom, right? You just click show more on your PC or laptop, or you click the little arrow button on your phone, and you can get all that information. As far as the blog, I will make an announcement letting you know that the instructions and the ingredients are on the blog. It'll be the first thing you see when you pull up my blog on Tumblr later on this week Ten of Cups, right? Emotional happiness. Look at the two. But do they look happy? It's something very strained about how he holds her hand, is it not? Almost like he's going to twist it backwards, yeah? You see how when you look afar, it looks lovely, and then when you look close up, 
and really look at them. H happy emotionally with some stuff going on underneath the surface. Something's brewing there in that relationship, yeah? Yeah. Something, so, something sudden and unexpected happens to you, right? And I feel like it has something to do with the fire sign. <laughs> it might be yourself. Like, you cause this disruption, you know? You cause this, 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 this all of a sudden, uh, out of nowhere, boom, right? And now you are level, you know, having to, to, to put out the fire. Doesn't look like she's about to take that stick and start putting the fire out, right? Because Leo, uh, Sagittarius, uh, and um, Aries, well, no, no. Yeah, y'all just really being immature, right? And this, whatever this happened, really sent you way back in your years. Meaning, if you was, if you're forty now, whatever took place made you turn into a twelve year old and started acting a fool. <laughs> Leo, come on. <laughs> Because <laughs> at the beginning of the week, it's a struggle. It's a struggle to maintain balance. And I feel like this is not just, this is not balance of everyday life. Like you have so much on your plate. Some of you, it might be, but I really don't think it is. That's about a balance of emotion. Yeah. How to keep your emotions together. How to keep them, do, do, do all of, ooh, there's a lot of bubbling of anger and sadness that's bubbling up to the surface. And y'all are do, doing everything you can just to stay pleasant in the presence of others. <laughs> you just just need to like take some sick days and just stay home, cry it out, yell at the wall, do whichever you gotta do. Cause I feel like it's hard for you to work, right? It's hard for you to focus on work. Cause in the middle of the week, you, you, you planning things, right? Whatever you planning, it's from a hurt heart and a hurt place and a hurt spirit. From a sadness, from a weakness, 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 very weak, 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 low self-esteem and self-worth. Y'all got to go back through the spiritual awareness. Oh, my goodness, because some of you are really, really feeling it. Something has happened. Something has happened. To... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so by the end of the week, total crazy chaos. In the mind, delusional, twisted, delusions. Anything to, to, to keep from dealing with what you are and what you've done. Whole scenarios that don't even exist, right? It's coming to your mind. You can't stay focused. You can't see clear. You can't do nothing. I mean, really, on emotional front, you are just all over the place because you... You think everybody is deceitful and everybody is doing something and everybody is lying and everybody is, everybody is, everybody is messing with me, messing with me, right? Stop fucking with me. So I feel like at the end of the, the outcome of the, the week is you on your head, right? Totally the opposite of what you thought you were. The real you is festering in the surface and it's a weeping, sobbing, angry mess, right? And this is keeping you ooh, from the finance, the finance, the finance, new, 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 new finance. Some money dropping to you from somewhere, right? It might be your new money, new money, new money. But it really is irrelevant. <laughs> It's irrelevant, guys, because there's got to be some emotional balance and clarity. There's got to be something that you can do. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all don't like therapy because they, mm, I don't like it myself, to be honest, Leo, to be real. I sent some shitty shiesty therapists. Boop. But you know what I'm saying? It's the spiritual way to go. <laughs> like I said, you better contact me. And I'll show you how to go through those spiritual wellness one by one and knock all this out. Good luck, Leo, this week, because it's a tough one. Stay blessed. I say.